even with the ambush. Um, and sorry, the people of protocol, if, uh, if I have messed up in any way, I'm sorry. Um, let me then conclude by saying I have had the privilege and honor of serving as Deputy President to my friend, President Uhuru Kenyatta, for the last 10 years. And it's an honor that I cherish. I am the only Kenyan who has served as an elected Deputy President under our new constitution. I don't consider that a simple thing, and I thank God for it. I want to thank all. I have worked with many people. I have worked with many leaders. I have worked with many members of parliament and senators and members of our executive. And they have supported me in my responsibilities. And on this prayer breakfast day, I want to thank God for all of you and wish each and every one of you well as you uh, journey into the future. I also want to thank my brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who's been my boss and leader for the opportunity to serve with him the people of Kenya. My friend, President Uhuru Kenyatta, as you head to retirement, is my prayer that God will give you every aspiration of your heart. And make it possible for you to enjoy the legacy that you have built and to enjoy every piece of the time God will give you. That's my prayer. <clears throat> to the great people of the Republic of Kenya, I know we have tried our best. We may not have done as much as you would have expected of us. We have failed you in some areas. We, haven't, we, have, we have not been as united as we should have been. We have failed in some areas. We ask, and specifically myself, I ask for your forgiveness. I also know that uh, serving as Deputy President, 